This is Kristen Sherry, creator of the UMAP Career Profile, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own unique contribution statement. So if you go to the very last page of your UMAP, if you have a UMAP profile already created, you'll notice that there is a blank space where your unique contribution statement goes. So if you purchased a UMAP from myumap.com, once you've completed your unique contribution statement, you will send that to service at myumap.com and just request in your email to have your profile updated with your unique contribution statement. If you're working with a coach and you're watching this video, once you've, once you've completed your unique contribution statement, you'll just send the contribution statement directly to the coach that you're working with. Okay, so how do we write a unique contribution statement? Well, first I wanna show you the written instructions. If you are a person who learns better by working through written instructions, by all means, you can use the document that was sent to you with your UMAP or your coach has this document. If you didn't receive it, you can request it. And basically you walk through your UMAP and highlight the keywords that resonate the most with you to create a keyword list, which will then allow you to craft a couple of sentences to describe what you do best. And you want to limit it to 225 characters because we're trying to be concise. So in this example of the UMAP, I like to work with Notepad. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just like Notepad. It's quick and easy. You can work in a Word document. You can write on a piece of paper, just as long as you can create your keyword list. And so in your Kochi workbook, there's also the ability to create a deal maker and deal breaker list on page nine of the workbook. So you can reference those keywords as well. So essentially, I'm going to select the words from my strengths that resonate most with me. And since Maximizer is very strong, I'm going to choose that. And I like to maximize people. So I'm going to put maximize people. I can maximize processes, but I prefer to maximize people. And I also am a very strong futuristic thinker. So I'm going to put uh, future and perhaps the word visionary uh, to describe me. And uh, I am a strategic thinker, so I like that word. And I do love ideas. So I'm going to create those words. And that's, that's enough for now. And then I'm going to go to my values and think about what's most important to me that I want to convey about my values. So in this case, I would say um, I really like to make a contribution in, in people's lives, make a difference. So I want to make sure that whatever my outcome is that I'm talking about for uh, my unique contribution statement, that it is making a difference somehow. So I think I'm going to focus on that for now. We're trying to focus on what we do best that others need most. So I want to focus on I, the things that are true of me that other people would care most about. So when I look at the skills next in, in pillar three of my UMAP, I really enjoy innovating. I like mentoring people. Let's see. I already have strategize from my strategic thinking. So I'm just going to pick those two skills. I rec recommend that you choose two to three skills that you enjoy using. Least preferred skills we're going to ignore because obviously we're not drawing from, from our skills we don't like when we're talking about what we do best. So when I look at the Pillar four, how I'm wired or my career interest type, I'm the idealist. So I will say, you know, that I am perceptive and I am curious. That's a keyword in my profile as well. And, you know, I think this is enough here. I have about nine or 10 words. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to expand this. And I'm just going to play around these words. So the formula is you're going to pick some adjectives, <laughs> you know, two, or two to three adjectives that describe you. That's the first thing you want to do. Um, 
Then the next part of your sentence or two is going to be skills and strengths that you bring to the table and it's kind of like the how you get things done or the types of things, what you do. It's really the what you do. And then the last part is going to be what's the result of that, the result or the value or the outcome. So it's a really a three-part formula here that you want to consider. And you have 225 characters to work with. So um, you won't necessarily use all the keywords. Don't try and force all the keywords. If you start getting really adjective heavy, it gets really clunky and hard to flow. So just the words that, that fit and that you're comfortable with. So don't feel like you have to cram the whole list. So I'm going to say that I'm a visionary and strategic thinker. Um, I'm using the word thinker as my noun to describe myself. What is your noun? So your adjectives might be em empathic and creative or analytical and disciplined or um, relationship builder and wooer. <laughs> yeah, you might not want to use wooer if you have woo as a strength, but you might say um, networker, for example, for that word. So visionary and strategic thinker. So What's your word? Leader, mentor, coach, manager, people leader. So you're going to pick a, a noun that describes you to go with your two adjectives. And then I'm going to just put who and describe what I do. So I generate, um, I am creative too. So I'm going to say I generate creative ideas. And maybe I will want to mention that I'm innovative too. And I'm going to say I generate creative and innovative ideas. And I think that's to maximize people because that's kind of the thing I like to do. Uh, and then how do I help them? What's the value? I'm going to say to help them move into roles where their greatest potential can be lived out. That's really what I do best. That's why I created UMAP in the first place. So I end up with visionary and strategic thinker who generates, generates, and innovates creative ideas to maximize people and help them move into roles where their greatest potential can be lived out. Yeah, I like that. So once I have that statement, I can put it in Word and do a word count and see if it, if it fits the 225 characters. And if it does, you can go ahead and send it to your UMAP coach. If you're not working with a coach, you send it to service at myumap.com and a member of our team can update your UMAP and send it back to you. So that is how you create your unique contribution statement so that you can use the, the final summary page of your UMAP to show your manager, take to job interviews, hang on your office wall, or however you plan to use your UMAP. Take care.